Hello, React Native developers. What a big, what a week it's been, right? Um, so many talks. Every second talk is a new announcement that completely changes the game. Um, honestly, I am so impressed by how much building is going on here at AppJS Conf. Really amazing, uh, unique conference. And this is the final talk, I promise. And I have one last little treat for you, a little dessert. We're going to make a video in React Native. And by that, I mean an actual MP4 file that users will be able to share. My name is uh, Johnny Burger. This is my Twitter handle. And I am the creator of a framework called Remotion. Remotion allows you to programmatically create a video and export it as an MP4 video. Not too long ago, I was a React Native developer and was inspired by libraries like Reanimated and, for example, William's YouTube channel and had the idea to make a framework for creating videos in React. Two years later, it has become a full-blown framework that can have interactive previews and render videos in the cloud. Here is maybe our biggest spot in the limelight so far. Um, last December, we have partnered with GitHub to create their year in review campaign. And as you can see, um, people can have their personalized video and share it on Twitter. And uh, this is a very good thing because native video performs much better than, for example, just posting a link or uh, posting a picture. Um, that's how the algorithm works nowadays. So there's a big opportunity in native video. And what you have just seen was all made in Remotion using web technology, HTML, CSS, and SVG. All right, let's go to the basics. How does a video work? And uh, I was inspired by this example of the little sticker that you maybe have on your laptop now. Um, the, the galloping horse is a, is, a, is a great example that shows that a video is essentially just a series of images um, that change over time. And instead of saying, OK, let's first take frame one, then frame two, we do this in Remotion in a declarative way, because Remotion is a declarative framework. So we use a hook to get the current time, and based on that, render an image. So this is how you would do the galloping horse in Remotion. Now, it's been a while since we launched Remotion, and one question has been coming up again and again. Does Remotion work with React Native? When will the integration come? And, well, obviously, <laughs> I'm going to announce that uh, we're going to do it. Uh, here is a demo for Remotion on React Native. So let me make it clear that today I just want to render an MP4 video. We're not going to take care of all the things that are currently possible in Remotion and that are desirable. But we have to start somewhere. And uh, we're not going to worry about audio codecs, not at all about performance, and all the other things not. But we are going to create a video. All right. Let me introduce you to our game plan. In a first step, we are going to create some basic state that will so 
that we have a scaffold and we know what is the current time, what is the width of the video, the duration, etc. Then we are going to mount a regular React component and that will be our canvas. The third step will be to screenshot each frame using the excellent React Native ViewShot library. And step four, we encode it into an MP4 video using FFmpeg. And step five, we win. Um, actually, let's quit out of Keynote already and let's get our hands dirty in VS Code. So, step one, let's create a scaffold. Here, I've been trying to reuse the existing Remotion contexts so that we can also use the Remotion hooks in React Native later. And uh, this might not tell you what exactly is going on, but I want to tell you that under the hood, we are essentially just using use date to keep track of the current timestamp and whether the video is playing or not. Um, and you could also just do that. It's uh, not much more complicated than that. And then we say that if the video is playing, then we just quickly update our canvas um, so that it has a different time uh, continuously. And OK, the point is <laughs> it will animate. So if uh, I now play the video, you can see that the horse is galloping. And uh, yes, this horse is. completely stolen from the new React Native reanimated documentation. And I, I just met the guy who has drawn the horse and he has noticed. Um, so I hope Software Mansion is not mad, otherwise um, you will now hear them cut off my mic, but uh, it's still on. <laughs> so it's uh, all good. Okay. This is the code. We just take the SVG paths, the current time, and we change the SVG. Um, we can also do more types of animation. So let's say we want to change the background color. Remotion has an API called interpolate colors. Um, let's say red. And then Take this out. Let's see if this works. Yes. Um, so the idea stays very simple. We render a different React Native view based on the current time. And we can also update the different dimensions. So this would be a widescreen video. Here we have a square video. These are good for Instagram. And uh, this is kind of the story mode. OK, we have rendered the horse. That doesn't seem very useful. Um, so here is an example that um, you might actually want to use. So let's say we are coding a running app and we want users to export their route as an Instagram story, for example. And uh, let me pull up the component for that. And we have some views, we have some SVG, we have some text, and we animate the opacity over time. Use stroke dash array, stroke dash offset to create some simple animations. Um, we can also use images. So, well, let me just. 
do that. Here I just took some pictures of beautiful Krakow. And here we use the remotion interpolate function. Um, interpolating basically means is if the time changes, we also change a specific value. Here we just change the margin left and margin top values. So um, we have a framework for animating stuff. Now, how do we turn it into a video? It's very easy. We just uncomment the line that I have commented in. <laughs> there we go. Here is our render button. Let's pause the video and trigger a render. Right now we are making screenshots using React Native ViewShot and then passing it to React Native FFmpeg. Let's see if it worked. Here we go. It's that simple. <laughs> OK, so there are a few considerations. What if it's a small phone, but we actually want to create a full HD video? What if we want to create a 4K video? Just screenshotting will not do the job. And this is, while what you're seeing is actually scaling the canvas. So maybe you notice if I go to widescreen, the text is a lot smaller. This is because this is just a 1920 by 1080 full HD canvas that is scaled down to fit the view. And we can show the preview, but we don't even have to show the preview. So I can just uh, comment this out. And what you are seeing while we are rendering is not actual view, it's uh, just the images that have been created. And we can also remove that. So the point is, even though it's screenshotting, you can also do it with no UI at all. All right. Um, how does it work exactly? I realize I haven't shown you the magic, so let me do that. Even this is pretty straightforward. We set the time to the initial time, and then we just make a loop regular for loop, we update the time, we capture an image. Here we have some callback stuff and uh, uh, do some platform specific stuff. In the end, we use React Native FFmpeg kit, turn it into a video, and save it to the gallery. Uh, a small side story, I wanted to save it to the gallery but when I tested it on Android, um, it did not work because Android 13 Tiramisu was introducing some new permissions. And uh, I was filing a bug in Expo Media Library. And the guy who is maintaining that, he was also coming to the conference. He came up to me yesterday after the talk when everybody was already having beers. We were sitting here. Um, on the stairs, we debugged it, and uh, we have found the issue. So, um, Expo team, there is a PR waiting for you, and uh, <laughs> a big shout out to Alan Hughes. <laughs> all right, um, this almost seemed too easy, so. Let me 
draw your attention to this slide that explains why what I have just done essentially sucks super hard. Um, <laughs> the biggest problem, of course, is performance. We are actually re-rendering a React Native view many times a second. And this is kind of an anti-pattern. To avoid doing this, libraries have been invented, animated, reanimated, etc., that make it not necessary to draw this many times. But I think we can kind of get away with it, question mark. I think on the web, it, it's OK. Um, Remotion works there. Many people use it. But on mobile, it is, of course, much more critical. Um, also, there has been no work on adding audio. And you can also not embed an existing video into your new video. And uh, let's say these images were network images, and they would appear in the middle of the video. You would want to wait for these images to be loaded um, before you take the screenshot. And that is also not implemented at the moment. Um, but this is it. This is the current status of the experiment. Um, I built it out. And now I want to hear the feedback from the React Native community. Do you want this? Do you need this? How do you want this? How do you need this? Um, should we build it? And um, let's open the discussion. and. Uh, Let's have the discussion on remotion dev slash native, where you can go and check out the sample project today. <laughs> I hope I have put enough warning labels to um, not make you use this in production. But um, if there's demand, then maybe we'll build it. That's already been it. I want to thank to the conference organizers for an amazing experience, and to you, the audience, because with you, I can steal horses. <laughs>